is Friday, October 17th, 18 days until the 2008 presidential election. An election that the Obama campaign today formally, in an official request for a special prosecutor, suggested that the McCain campaign is conspiring to steal with help from the White House and the Department of Justice. Our fifth story tonight, with the election itself at stake, breaking news that Obama is setting the stage for a dramatic reenactment of the battle over Republican corruption of the DOJ to suppress Democratic voting in 2004 and 2006, only this time with this Democrat, the battle now being joined before it's too late. It is unfolding by the hour tonight. First two top officials at the Justice Department leaked the fact that the DOJ is seeking evidence that ACORN, a network of community groups, might be involved in a coordinated national scam to register fake voters. The background. Every election, ACORN uses part-time workers to register new voters. Every election, a handful of workers rip off ACORN by making up voter names. ACORN itself is required by law to submit even the names it knows are fake, and ACORN even flags those names for officials to exclude. And even though none of this voter registration fraud has led to significant voter fraud or fake votes cast, for the last two election cycles, Republicans from the White House down have tried to tighten voting restrictions, which often screen out poor and minority voters, that is, Democrats, by ginning up a handful of registration fraud cases as evidence of widespread fraud in voting itself. That's why several DOJ prosecutors were fired in 2006 for having rejected political pressure to pursue unfounded voting fraud cases. Special Prosecutor Nora Danahe now investigating the Bush administration's use of the DOJ in that effort. And now, less than two years later, this letter from the Obama campaign to the Attorney General Michael Mukasey. Today, quote, I request that Special Prosecutor Danahe's inquiry include a review of any involvement by Justice Department and White House officials in supporting the McCain-Palin campaign and the Republican National Committee's systematic development and dissemination of unsupported spurious allegations of vote fraud. DOJ replying to Countdown tonight, quote, we will review the letter. So, could there be any evidence that Senator McCain might be pushing hyperbolic allegations of voting fraud? And of that relationship, we need to know the full extent of Senator Obama's relationship with ACORN, who is now on the verge of maybe perpetrating one of the greatest frauds in voter history in this country, maybe destroying a fabric of democracy. Any evidence, perhaps, that Mr. Mukasey is responding to political pressure? Pressure coming in, say, the last days of the campaign, when even Justice Department guidelines discourage these investigations precisely because of partisan concerns. September 16th, Assistant House Republican Whip Tom Feeney and 38 others write to Mukasey about ACORN. Last Friday, House Republican Whip Roy Blunt and five others write to Mukasey about ACORN. On Tuesday, Republican Senator John Cornyn writes to Mukasey about ACORN. Three Republicans from the battleground state of Wisconsin write to Mukasey about ACORN. Yesterday, two senior DOJ officials revealed the ACORN investigation to the Associated Press. To quote, they spoke on condition of anonymity because DOJ regulations forbid discussing ongoing investigations, particularly so close to an election. Today, this RNC Republican press release, quote, the New Mexico Republican Party say they believe 28 people voted fraudulently in June. The chairman of the New Mexico Republican Party is Alan Way, the same GOP chief who asked Karl Rove in 2005 to fire New Mexico's state U.S. attorney David Iglesias, precisely because Iglesias had refused to toe the line on pursuing bogus voter fraud claims. Rachel Maddow on the politics in a moment. First, we're joined now by the general counsel to the Obama campaign, Bob Bauer, whose letter to Attorney General Mukasey we just quoted. Thank you for your time tonight, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Have we got this uh, uh, pretty much right here that you're essentially raising the possibility, asking for a special prosecutor to determine whether the McCain campaign is essentially conspiring with the Republican National Committee and, and in what would be a, probably a pretty crucial illegal part with official government elements at the White House, at the Justice Department, to create this uh, phony appearance of widespread voting fraud that lends itself to crackdowns that wind up only suppressing Democratic votes? You do have it right. You have it exactly right. And I think it's important, Keith, if I could, to put it within the broader context of the kind of negative, unprecedentedly vicious and negative campaign uh, that the McCain-Palin campaign is currently running. Uh, wherever you look, at every level, uh, you see these tactics being used. And now this toxin appears to have entered into the Justice Department not too long uh, after the administration promised to clean up 
after the U.S. attorney dismissals and the scandal uh, over the U.S. attorney dismissals. So what we're seeing here is, I'm afraid to say, evidence that on another level yet again, along with the robocalls, along with the negative ads, along with all of these activities, these viciously negative activities, we now have legal tactics that are being used of a similarly vicious nature, and they threaten to poison the Department of Justice and the impartial administration of the law. We're asking Attorney General Mukasey, who came to the Department of Justice to clean up after the U.S. attorney scandal, to take the action necessary to remove this matter uh, from, frankly, political hands and put them in independent hands. And you pointed out there is a special prosecutor, Nora Danahy, who could easily take this on and make it part of her expanded responsibilities.